if I told you If I told you just half of everything I've always wanted to Welcome back, Camille. Lately, I've been in a bit of a funk. Just been feeling very, like, debilitated by my feelings. Like, it's so hard for me to, like, get stuff done when I'm feeling badly inside. Even though I know it's not that hard to just, like, get up and do. But when I'm already just, like, consuming a lot of energy up here, it's hard to have energy to do stuff. With that being said, the state of my house has kind of gotten away from me which is nothing new it's just kind of like a continuous cycle like when i'm doing good mentally i'm like on top of it i don't even let it get dirty it's just like maintaining it and it's fine but it happens so fast where it's like oh i won't i won't clean it right away and next thing i know it's a few days later and it's a total disaster to be fair i feel like i've come a long way because i used to let it get a lot worse than it is now like this is very manageable to clean it all it's just a matter of getting it done whereas before i wouldn't clean it for like a really long time and then it would get really really bad and it's one of those things when you become an adult that sometimes like people don't show you how to do it people don't show you how to keep up with the mess growing up in my household my mother was a perfectionist and she would much rather do it her way than for us to do it and it not be done exactly how she likes. Therefore, we just never really learned how to clean up after ourselves, which now as a mother, I've realized the impact that that has had. And so Colette, even though she's three, does have responsibilities and she cleans up after herself. So for example, after we finish a meal, Colette will get her plate and her fork and scrape her food off in the trash and put her plate in the sink. And it took a while to teach her to do that every single time but now i don't even ask and she just does it she knows that that's what she does after she's done with her plate and growing up even as like a 12 year old that was a foreign concept to me i would finish eating and i would leave my dish on the table and walk away and like after i'm done changing Dee Dee's diaper i'll wrap it up all nice for her and she'll go put it in the trash or like if they eat a banana the girls know to put their banana peel in the trash and i know some parents are like kids shouldn't have that responsibility like let kids be kids but the earlier in life that you instill that in them the more it's gonna stick with them and it's not like i'm making them clean up after anyone but themselves i'm just teaching them how to clean up their own messes to do everything for your kids in my opinion is a disservice to them you're only hurting them in the long run because now as an almost 21 year old i'm having to teach myself how to keep up with the mess and with having depression on top of that sometimes it just feels like a losing battle but i figured if i make this week's video about cleaning my house that's gonna make me actually do it and have the motivation to you know it's holding me accountable i can say to myself i'm gonna clean my house this week but if i don't tell anyone else about it or there's no other like pressure it might not get done because if i don't do it there's no real loss other than the fact that i just didn't do it <laughs> but if i don't do it this week then there's nothing to post so that's what we're doing so i have a little to-do list this is gonna be a three-day thing not that my house is that messy it shouldn't take me three days but i'm working around the girls schedule with their nap time today's tuesday i just put them down so we're starting here tomorrow they're gonna be with their nanny so i have the whole day to clean and then thursday during their nap time if there's more to do but today we are focusing on the downstairs level so here's our list dishes there's not that much and it always seems like way more than it is but being that my garbage disposal is broken at the moment it's just like annoying to do so i have you know for the last like day and a half just kind of let it pile up counters just you know wiping everything down microwave and oven i don't really have oven cleaner but tomorrow i'll have an opportunity to go to the store so that might have to wait until i can go get some proper cleaning supplies for that fridge it could definitely just use a clean out a wipe down pantry could use some 
organizing is just kind of thrown in there. Downstairs bathroom, sweep, mop, and vacuum. The floors could definitely use it. And then organize the bookshelf and the closets. Again, it's all just kind of there and there's no rhyme or reason to it. So I definitely want to go through that and see what I could do. I find lists like this to be very helpful because if I just tell myself, oh, like I'm, I'm gonna clean, I'll do like one or two things and be like, okay, I did something. <laughs> but to have a list and then have the satisfaction of like checking everything off the list, I feel very accomplished at the end of it. And then if I don't do everything on the list, I get to feel bad about it as my punishment. <laughs> All right, enough talking about it. Let's do it. I feel like I'm just procrastinating. This intro did not need to be this long. Ugh. I'm gonna start with just picking everything up because before I get to the real nitty gritty, I just need to get everything out of the way. I'd like to formally introduce you to Garbage Onion. It's an onion that was going bad in my house that I just one day randomly decided to plant in the ground in my backyard. And it's grown a lot. And I just dump whatever over here. The rest of my smoothie, my tea, random peels and whatever. It's basically like a compost, except it's not really. And this is where I pour my yerba mate. It's really pointless, but the whole thing is just seeing how horribly you can treat garbage onion for it to still be growing and thriving. On that note, the dishes are done. Now it's time for the counters.
I'm done with the floors and I think that's all I'm gonna get to today. The girls are awake, they're stomping around up there and everything's very, very clean. I didn't really get around to any of the organizing stuff or the bathroom, but I have a lot more time tomorrow to get to everything. So even though I didn't get it all done today, which I was being very ambitious to have that long of a list, especially just for a nap time, I'm still proud of myself. It took me a while to do everything because I was paying such attention to detail, but it paid off because everything's sparkling. Now I'm just gonna chill and take it easy until tomorrow. It is the next day and I just got back from Publix. I kinda went overboard. <laughs> I got some oven cleaner, clean the oven obviously. Needed some more mopping stuff, ran out yesterday. Toilet bowl cleaner. And then I got this for dusting because I'm like, I know I need to dust, but how do I dust, you know? So I got this. I got some magic erasers. My mom always used these to clean as we were growing up. So I'm like, oh, cool. Some dish towels, some mega shower foamer, some replacements for my dishwashing brush. I got this to scrub the shower and then a little toilet gel thing. And with all that, I think I'm ready. My top priority is to get everything clean obviously. So the organization type stuff that was on my list yesterday has been moved to the bottom of the list. So I'm gonna clean the oven, clean the downstairs bathroom, and then head upstairs and I'll probably start on the upstairs bathrooms being that I already have all the bathroom stuff going. And then it's just picking up my room and my laundry and then sweeping upstairs. To be honest, I feel a lot less motivated today. I think I kind of wore myself out and I've kind of been procrastinating all morning. So I have a lot less time than I would have had I just gotten straight to work. But I'm gonna start somewhere. And if I don't get it all done today, there's always tomorrow. I just know I'm gonna feel so much better by the end of all this. Cause already just having the downstairs done, I feel like I have my life together a little bit more than I did at the beginning of yesterday. So let's get to it. That's enough of that. I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> like it doesn't look very clean. But that's just because I cannot do with the fumes. When I bought that, I did not know that it was that strong. Whew. I just cannot stick my head in there. I will faint. I'm gonna have to find some other method to clean it. But for now, the microwave. We're done downstairs for now. Now I'm headed upstairs and I've made a new and improved list. The upstairs bathroom, the laundry, the floors, tort, the floor, tort, tort, the doy. The floors and toy cleanup. Get measurements for my closet. I'm doing a little project in there. And then returning to pantry and bookshelf. This bathroom gets way dirtier than any room in the whole house because Colette will tell me she needs to go poop and I'll let her chill in this bathroom thinking, yeah, she's just pooping in there. But she's sticking wet toilet paper to the wall and throwing everything into the bathtub. So this bathroom very well might look exactly the same as this tomorrow, but gotta clean it anyways.
ask him. Right before that, you had AirPods in, and I was like, "Fuck, I'm scared." I'm like, "Fuck, I'm scared." Is that a Anyways, muffin? I brought you a banana muffin, and then three little slices of banana bread. The girls are gonna be home in about 30 minutes and I have some emails to attend to before that happens. So I'm done for now, eating some banana bread that my sister brought over, but the laundry is running with their bedding in it, and whenever they get home, I'm gonna have them help clean up their rooms. Time to clean up. So all the clothes need to go in the pile. All the stuffed animals go on the chair. Ah, Mommy, Mommy. Okay. Oh, how about you play with my toy? It is now Friday and I am editing the video you guys are watching. Yesterday, all I had to get done was finish my room and finish my bathroom. And I would have been able to have the satisfaction of saying, I did it all, I finished everything. But instead, I sat in bed and cried. And I've just come to realize that I just need to be patient with myself when I'm in a state like this. For how depressed I've been feeling this week, I did get a lot done, which is more than I could say for any other time I've been at this level of depression before. And I know that as soon as I'm feeling up to it, I'll get around to it. I come on here to show my real life, and this is my real life. It would probably take me an hour max to do the last little bit of it, but I just could not bring myself to do anything other than be a puddle. And that's just how it is sometimes, and that's okay. This is your daily reminder to listen to your needs and be kind to yourself. Even though I didn't finish it all, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video, Camelie. Mm -hmm.